Hi, this week's weekly roundup, we're seeing sensors, STEM teaching aids, a blast from the past, and also a holographic display. So, grab a cuppa. There's a bunch of cool things on Kickstarter this week. The first one is an ESP8266 based board with a PIR on the back. The concept is great, but I'm not sure about this campaign. As always, caveat emptor. The HSWD is a box that detects the presence of water running off a 9 volt battery for up to a year. Probably contains an ESP8266 and is fully programmable from the Arduino IDE and also from a smartphone app. A nice little box if you have a leaky roof or if you think someone has left the bathwater running. Something to go with your reflow oven. This is a small dispenser that will accurately dispense solder paste for SMDs. It can also dispense lubricants, adhesives and other semi-liquid compounds. It can also be triggered via a foot pedal. Another world's first it seems. Modi is a robotics of things platform with modules that magnetically connect to each other. It has a bunch of output modules, input modules and main modules containing an ARM Cortex, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and battery. Oh, and it's also LEGO compatible. Yet another modularized platform. The Micro Modules is yet another Arduino compatible building block that contains all the usual input and output modules. This one is slightly different in that it is aimed for teachers teaching STEM courses. I guess the idea is that you stick the components on the whiteboard and draw where you want things connected. Hmm, okay. Pyduino, yet another Arduino board running MicroPython. Hmm, okay. It does have an onboard ST slot and can be powered from 7 to 12 volts. Even though these types of boards are dime a dozen, it just might be the board you were looking for. Holy Vulcan bones! A holographic display? This is light years away from the holodecks that we're all going to be using in the distant future, but really cool stuff. It works basically as a controlled mirage and projects a vector display in thin air. This one is well beyond any casual maker at the moment, but it's only a matter of time before everyone's making one. First up on Indiegogo, another Arduino learning board. Seems that there's a bucket load of these on the market, but here's another one that might just interest you. I really should do a review of a lot of these, shouldn't I? Oh, good grief. What is it with robots on crowdfunding sites? Yet another one that seems to be doing well, but heck, I prefer to make my own. This one apparently claims to be a robot friend, home monitor, as well as a pet playmate. Yeah, I can see that cat really enjoying itself. I need one thing on crowd supply. The Winkle board is in pre-launch status. Contains Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, RTC and motion sensors. I'm assuming that it's all fully Arduino compatible as it has an 8 mega 128 on board, but no idea what else. Might be interesting once it goes live. In need of throwing around some cheap Bluetooth eye beacons, this product is based on Dialog's DA14580, which they claim provides six times the battery life of the TICC245 chips around three years on a single coin cell. If you have a need to measure light within a wide spectral bandwidth, then check out this OPT3002 board on Tindy. Measures between 300 and 1000 nanometers at an effective 23-bit resolution and has a low power mode. Now this is nice. The Easy Pulse Micro is an add-on board supporting several MPLab Express and other boards. It's a photoplastic Oh heck, you know what I mean. Oh, no? Okay. So basically, it's a method where you can measure your heart rate by shining a light into the skin and sensing changes in light. I'm going to be running a video series on sensors soon, and so I'm ordering one of these. Now, this is a blast from the past. A full Z80 development board, complete with NTSC composite video out and keyboard. Apparently, the Z80 is ancient. Heck, I didn't think I was that old. The ESPA is yet another ESP8266 board. Well, if you have one, then you can also pick up a 128 by 64 monochrome OLED screen driven over the I2C bus. It uses the SSD1306 OLED driver. Want to get into CPLDs? This training board contains one of two chips, either the Xilinx 9536XL or the 9572XL chips. CPLD is a sort of cross between an FPGA and standard discrete logic, 
It contains programmable logic gates like an FPGA, but the big difference is that it contains onboard memory, so is often used to bootstrap an FPGA. Yet another Arduino Zero compatible board, but this one has a full color OLED and integrated SD slot. Adafruit has a Red Bear IoT P hat for the Pi Zero, which has onboard Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and EE PROM. You can also put this on a standard Pi, but of course, there's no need for the Pi 3 and when the Pi 4 comes out soon. And on SparkFun, we have the new Teensy. Oh, oh, okay, sorry, they're on back order. I could have sworn a couple of milliseconds ago they had plenty in stock. Oh well, it's one of those things, you gotta be quick. However, they do have plenty of SparkFun beginner parts kits which contains a lot of discrete components that you're always running out of. And they have a bunch of Lilypad rainbow LEDs that contain seven LEDs still attached to each other that you can snap off. You've all seen the chip. Now next thing has come out with the chip Pro, which will be shipping December 2016, but dev kits are on sale now. What's the difference between the Pro and the original? Well, as far as I can see, the only difference is that it supports i2s audio and Bluetooth 4.2. Oh, okay. I've requested a sample, and so when I get it, you'll see what it's really like. Here's a good article from Maker.io. You'll have heard about the ESP8266 modules. Well, there's another Wi-Fi based module from Realtek. The RTL8710 is claimed to be cheaper and faster compared to the ESP8266. Apparently, our friends who came out with a Pine64 have also made a module based on the Realtek called the Paddy. I'd like to also get my hands on a sample of the Paddy IoT stamp to see what that's like. Thanks for watching this week's router. As always, links are on my website and in the description below. You can click on any of the on screen icons to follow or subscribe to me. And I'm also on Patreon, which helps me to produce videos like this, so your support is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching, and see you next week.